Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and are you excited for the season premiere of The Vampire Diaries tonight? <coughs> okay, so I'm not really known to be the biggest television watcher. I'm more of a concise plot feature film person. But over the summer, I discovered and blew through all three seasons of The Vampire Diaries on Netflix, because apparently I have no life. It is so good! Ever since Twilight, I've been extremely skeptical of the whole supernatural love story genre and anything that involves vampires or werewolves. Because obviously you can't have vampires without werewolves. Psh, what are you, crazy? So, to celebrate the new season, I thought I would give you my top five reasons why The Vampire Diaries takes the vampire pop culture phenomenon to a whole new level. Number five, no one actually wants to be a vampire. Whereas Bella in Twilight has a really twisted death wish throughout the entire series, vampirism in The Vampire Diaries is seen as a loss of humanity and rightfully mourned. Now this doesn't mean that this is a show full of depressed, moping, living dead people, but vampirism is definitely not as sexy as other portrayals like in True Blood. Number four, blood drinking is sexy. This might seem a little contradictory, but the cinematography and acting choices made for blood drinking makes it seem like the hottest thing out there, which really contrasts Twilight's human blood drinking is evil stance. Such agony, such agony in Edward's eyes. Number three, being a werewolf actually sucks. None of this wimpy, change it will, shed your skin like a light jacket stuff. I'm talking break every bone in your body, chain yourself up because you're afraid you're gonna hurt someone. You might be dead if you're a vampire, but I would pick a blood sucking any day over being a slave to the full moon. Number two, Alaric Saltzman. Seriously, if I ever have a son, he's going to be named Alaric. Coolest name Ever. Mr. Saltzman is definitely one of the most interesting characters of the series, as he went from vampire hunter to vampire savior to schizophrenic cold-blooded murderer. No other vampire story has anything as awesome as this history teacher. Number one, Damon Salvatore. He's maybe one of the most complex characters that I have ever seen. I absolutely hated him for the first half of the first season, but slowly and unexpectedly he crept into my favor until the point now where I'm 110% Team Damon. Do they even have teams? This isn't some silly Jacob Edward dichotomy. Yeah, I know, there's actually a choice. The thing about Damon is that I feel like he's the most human, despite the fact that he's a vampire and does decidedly non-human things like thoughtless murder. He makes mistakes and impassioned decisions and doesn't try and be the self-righteous super vampire like Stefan. Ball ring. And that's the vampire diaries for you. Tell me in the comments what your favorite vampire werewolf supernatural story is. There's certainly plenty of them. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs> also, I have to give a shout out to my friend Catherine, who is just as obsessed with the vampire diaries as me and likes to text me crazy things during episodes. So happy watching.